Today we will be filming a demonstration of a colposcopy and the instruments in front of you are the ones that we will be using today. Most importantly, before any procedure is started, you want to make sure that you have the medical procedure consent form filled out by the provider, signed by the patient, and also has the correct information on the patient label. Here with these labels, it has the patient's initials, which confirm their first name, last name, and date of birth. And you want to be sure that the patient does label every single one. This solution here is called Moncells. It has a mustard-like appearance. This goes onto the cervix, which then comes out looking as coffee grounds. This vial here is for the ECC biopsies. Those would be collected on these brushes here, which would then be cut by these wire cutters into this vial here. These vials are for the biopsies that are taken by the provider. It is up to the provider whether they want all the biopsies in one container or separated individually. This vinegar solution is used by the provider to highlight any areas of concern and which will then be biopsied by the provider. The provider has two methods of obtaining a biopsy. This one here moves in this fashion and the biopsy would then be collected in the bottom, which would be then shaken off into the vial. There is also this method here, which has bristle-like ends and would be used in this fashion onto the cervix. Prior to the patient coming into the room, you want to make sure that you have a chucks pad on the bed and you also want to make sure you have the drape. First, the medical assistant will grab the metal speculum for the provider and add a drop of lubricant. After the provider has placed the speculum, the MA will grab the vinegar solution and hand it off to the provider. After the vinegar solution has been sprayed onto the cervix, the MA will give the provider three GYN swabs. After the vinegar solution has been placed, the provider will grab the swabs, soak up any of that solution, and disperse it onto the cervix. After that is done, the MA will give the provider the ECC swabs. After the ECC biopsies have been collected, it will be passed on to the MA, where it will then be placed into the thin prep vial, and they will be then cut with the wire cutters. When that has been cut and the vial is closed, it will be labeled ECC. Today we will be showing you both methods for collecting the biopsy. This instrument here is called the Tischler. This instrument here will be placed on the areas of concern and will then pinch off that part of the cervix. After the specimen has been collected, it will be then placed into a vial. This second method of collection is going to be based off the provider's preference. This method uses the scrubbing end and twirled it into a circle to collect that specimen. After the specimen has been collected, the provider will then hand it off to the MA. After the specimen has been collected, it will be placed into the vial that has already been labeled with the patient's initials. This one, however, does snap off. After the specimen is placed into the vial, you will then have to write BX, which stands for biopsy, 
and the provider will tell you where the location of that specimen came from, whether it's 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, etc. This one was taken off of 1 o'clock. After the biopsies have been collected, the provider will request Montel's. That is when you take the OBGYN swabs here, place it into the Montel's, swirl it, and this amount of Montel's would be sufficient. After the procedure has been completed, you just want to verify that the label is on there and again initialed and you want to make sure that you have your ECC written on there and on the second vial where that biopsy came from. When that has been completed, you can then place it into the bag and print off the requisition when it is ordered.